Hello friends, I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and appreciate him, give him the glory, give him the praise. Let's join the 20 and the four elders, including the four beasts, to magnify the fourth man in the fire, the one that sits between the cherubims. is God all by himself. No man voted him into power and no man has the God to remove him. Can you just go ahead and appreciate him? He created all things, but he was never created. Somebody help me reverence him. Bow before his majesty. Give him glory. Give him the praise. He is the king in Zion. We have come to mark attendance as those God who have spared their lives to worship you. We set up our banners in the name of Jehovah. And we want to say, Lord, we are grateful. Father, you are the best. You are the almighty. You are the beauty of Zion. You are the life giver. We acknowledge you, O oh God, as the Lord above all laws, as the King above all kings. You are beautiful in this season and forever. Father, thank you for providing this platform for us to worship you. You are the one that lives in eternity. We honor you. You dwell it in an unapproachable light. We say a big thank you to you. We call you the protocol breaker, the life changer, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the roots of David. Kalia Kagadaba Lagadus, you are Jehovah Nisi, you are Jehovah Jire, Kalia Gadadabra Gadus, you are Jehovah Sabuat, you are Jehovah Vadu, there is no one else like you. We worship you, the ancient of days. Makianda Dagadabra Gadus, you are the God that rules in the affairs of men. Hallowed be your name. Zinekelege de Bregedus, you are the captain of our destiny. Zina Kalian de Regedelegedus, the faithful God. We bow and we tremble at your feet. We honor you. The God that rises in the heavens by the name Jah. Hallowed be your name. Sweet Holy Spirit. We welcome you in a new day and we want to declare that we love you. Hallowed be God. You look amazing in a new day and you do it amazing things in a day like this. We bow and we honor you. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty, for we worship with thanksgiving in Jesus Christ's precious name. We worship, Amen. Make your amen louder from the other side, Amen. This is SPDD. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. And Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes their way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you aflame for God all day. Now just before we proceed in God's presence, let's do this song together to the glory of God. That's the voice of prayer. I said let's do this song together as we proceed in the place of prayer this morning. Now let's go. Mm. There is one Redeemer, Jesus God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Oh, Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son, leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done chai ah, let's go again there is one redeemer jesus god's 
Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your son leaving your spirit in your work and it is done i say leaving your spirit in your work on it is done. <laughs> Church, let's go again. Leaving your spirit till your work on it is done. <laughs> Bragadush. And our topic for today says, When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion. And briefly this morning, we shall take our Bible reading from Psalm 1 to 6, verses 1 to 3. And I read, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Verse 2 says, Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, The Lord had done great things among them. The Lord had done great things for us. We are off, we are glad. Now permit me to start by saying that captivity is anything that stands as a limitation to your freedom or liberty. Captivity is like an imprisonment. Captivity can come in diverse forms. It can come to cover your glory. It can come to oppress you. You just discover that you are being oppressed often and you pray about it. And it seems as if the heavens are sealed. Follow me closely this morning because we are going somewhere. Captivity can come in diverse forms. It can come in form of late marital proposal. You have waited and trusted God for a life partner, but none has shown up. And it looks as if age is not in your favor. And it looks as if age is not in your favor. That is called captivity. No baby since you got married for several years. Captivity. Captivity could come in form of poverty. You work hard as a person, but you are not seeing the result of your hard work. I mean, Mr. Lack seems to have moved his resident address to your base. Kai, zike tepe legedosh, captivity. Maki ande regede de legedosh, ante regede de legedosh. Captivity can come in form of bad habits or addiction, and you've done everything possible to stop it. Kalia kagada balagada bragadosh, rather than stopping it, it tends to be on the rise. The list goes on. It can even come in the form of series of quarrelling between husband and wife. It can even come in the form of infirmity that the devil has brought to limit you from your God ordained destiny. Chai. It can be an academic embarrassment from the camp of the enemy. You read, you read, you read. You do not assimilate. Chai, zeketepe legedos, devil wicked. 
It might even be your child or grandchild who is operating under a porous brain. Makia kagada balagadosh or even stubbornness. Malian de 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 lagadosh de 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 lagadosh abragadosh or even the one they call. I do not know where or how it started. Makia kagada balagadosh. Some call it the demons from your village who doesn't want your progress. Makian de 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 lagadosh abragadosh. The envious who said, "How can this good thing happen to him or her child, or even happen to her children or his children or grandchildren?" Kai, makian de 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 lagadosh, devil wicked. Makia kagada balagadosh, shante de 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 lagadosh, abragadosh. I can go on and on and on with an unending list. Kalia kagada balagadosh, but captivity comes to shorten and cut short the destiny of a person which is consequent to sorrow makia kagada balagadosh but i came with a good news this morning the god that turns the captivity of his people and makes it become a dream is here i said is here makia i said he is here and he sent me to announce to someone on the line that he is still the same god kalia kagada balagadosh kai for he said in hebrews 13 verse 8 and i read jesus christ the same yesterday and today and forever kalia kagada balagadosh so what he did in the old he can also do it again in the nang what he did for the ancient he can also do for the modern makian de 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 lagadosh abragadosh a man was sick for 38 years i said for 38 years come on church that's part of a duration of a lifetime makia kagada balagadosh kete pe legede de lagadosh Hopelessly, this man changed his residential address to the pool of Bethsaida. Chai, Makia Kagada Balagado Shante de Gede Legados. Friends, he didn't just relocate to the pool of Bethsaida, Kalia Kagada Balagado, but he was now permanently staying there as a captive. Makia Kagada Balagado Shakatapa Legede de Lagadash. Please don't wait till you hear let us pray this morning before you begin to pray. Kalia Kagada Balagadosh, what I have just said. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. Zina Kalian de Regede de Lagadosh, so allow the Spirit to pray through you. Zine Kelegede de Lagadosh, Shante de Gede de Legadosh, Makia Kagada Balagadosh. One day, the one that visits the captivity of Zion visited him right there at the pool of Bethsaida and changed his story. Makia Kagada Balagadosh. And the Bible then recorded in John chapter 5 verses 5 to 9 and I read from the New Living Translations. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. You can imagine that. That is just 12 years to his jubilee. Can you imagine that? When Jesus saw him and knew he had been ill for a long time, he asked him, would you like to get well? Now listen to this. I can't, sir, the sick man said. Friends, this is interesting, isn't it? And then listen to this. For I have no man to put me into the pool when the water bubbles up. Someone else always gets there ahead of me. Jesus told him, stand up, pick up your mats and walk. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shania Kagada Balagadosh Abragadosh. Someone is about embracing a lifetime miracle this morning on the line. If you are the one, let me hear your amen and make it different. Makia Kagada Balagadosh. Amen. Halegede de Lagadosh. Zegede de Legede Begedosh. Abragadosh. Instantly. The man was healed. Alekete, lekete. He rolled up his sleeping mat and began walking. But this miracle happened on the Sabbath. lagadosh. <laughs> Friends, this is one of the interesting scriptures of the New Testament. Makia kagada balagadosh. A man who was asked whether he wanted to be made whole, and he replied, "I cannot." Even though he felt the question he was asked 
was eventually made whole by the one who have the capacity to turn around the captivity of Zion. That is simply a proof that no matter the size of your captivity, Jehovah Sikinu has all it takes to change your story. That's why we call him the story changer. Kai. Makia Kagadabalagados. Now, hear me and hear me well. He told me he would change someone's story this morning. If you agree with me, let your amen be different. Amen. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream dreams. Kai, Makia Kagadabalagados. I'm very convinced God is already speaking to someone on the line. Time will not permit me to talk about a man who was born blind in John chapter 9 who encountered the captivity changer. In John chapter 9 verses 1 to 3 and I read, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his bed. Can you imagine that? Mark the word from his bed. Bet. He saw a man and not a boy. Let's proceed. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Verse 3, Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest. Now look at verse 7. And he said unto him, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and washed and came seen. Kai, friends, I don't know the size of your captivity as you woke up this morning, but never forget the Bible recorded this man, not this boy, Kalia was born blind. Zuna Kalian That sounds like a serious captivity. But the one that visited the captivity of Zion visited him and turned his situation into a dream. Kai Makia And this morning I hear from the heavenlies, Jehovah Saboat will turn your case into a dream in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. If you believe what I have just said, make your amen bigger and let it come like a tsunami. Zina Kalia Kagadabalagadush. Amen. Just before we pray, because we got to pray. I said we got to pray soon because the cloud of prayer is already gathering on the global prayer line. Zina Kalian and God is said to give someone a new beginning. Something must happen to someone on this global altar this morning that will spark off a testimony that will last for a lifetime. And if that is you, let your amen echo like a tsunami again. Amen. Believe what I have just said. Don't allow any devil to shut you down. Let your amen be different from what it used to be. Amen. I believe that somebody is already being blessed. Hannah was called a barren and was highly tormented by her co-wife. Zina Kalian known as Penina, but just one day encounter Ziketepe Legedelagados made all the difference. Zina Kalian Delegedelagados and the Baron was then called the mother of many. Kai Ziketepe Legedelagados Katapa Legedelagados. Now, what about Lazarus, whose case was already closed? both physically and in the grave, as he was already stinking as a dead man. Chai, Zikete Pelegados, 
the Lord just told me that somebody's faith is coming alive. And I decree as the damsel of the Most High God and by the Spirit of the Living God resting upon me that your faith will never go down again forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decreed. Amen. Make your amen different from the other side. Amen. Friend, you can go on and kabush. It is allowed. And then in John chapter 11, verse 39 and 43 to 44, then the Bible says that Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead for days. Can you imagine that? Now look at verses 43 to 44 as we begin to conclude. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead, came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Lose him and let him go. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Friends, that's exactly what happens when a captivity is turned round. Now, never forget that all hope we are gone until the one that turns around the captivity of Zion. And that is said to turn around captivity on this global prayer altar this morning. Came Zina Kalian and showed up and the dead came back to life. And the Lord told me that He's stepping into your case to turn around your situation. Zina Kalian from when the Lord visits the captivity of Zion, we wear like them that dream dreams. And our mouth were filled with laughter. In fact, even the hidden decided to carry the good news around. The Lord has done great things. Kai, Makia Kagadabalagados, from today, now I say, hear me, from today, the hidden will carry the tale of God's goodness in your life. Makia Kagadabalagados, Shantelegadelegados, your enemies will help you to share the testimonies of God's goodness in your life. Makia Kagadabalagados, Shantelegadelegados, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now as we pray, somebody's captivity shall be turned into a dream. I said it shall be turned into a dream today. And if you agree with me, let your amen come as a tsunami from the other side. Amen. Let me have a believer's amen from the other side. Amen. Let us pray. The bragados, zeged the bragados, zikati and the legged the legados, shakata paligados. Now, just before we proceed, because the oil of prayer is already resting upon someone, zinekeli and the legged the legados on the global prayer line. I said, just before we proceed, zikete pe legged the legados, shakata paligade the legados. Now, I want to pray for someone on the line who has listened to this broadcast and you are still battling with sin. Can I let you know? that no sinner has
eternity with God. So come to Jesus today so he can fix your destiny just by briefly saying after me. If you are a backslider, please I encourage you to please join them and make this prayer after me. Now say after me, my father in heaven, I come to you today. I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. Please cancel my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life and give me the power and the grace to follow you and to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you for serving me. In Jesus Christ's precious name we prayed. And I decree and declare to everyone who has made this prayer after me that this decision you have just taken today shall forever remain permanent. No going back. In Jesus Christ's precious name I decreed. Amen. Saints, let's go. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream dream. Since I say pray, take a praying posture, pray. Every captivity shall be turned into dreams. By the mandate of heaven. Open your mouth and pray. Listen to me, saints. All things are possible. In this atmosphere this morning, I say pray. No spiritual cable should be weak this morning. I say somebody pray. As far as there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. So pray. The Bible says, He that do you have not asked. Place the man this morning. From when you ask, you shall receive. He that prayeth in tongues, prayeth mysteries. Can you go in the language of mystery this morning? There is nothing God cannot do. I say pray. You will testify. So pray. Victory is sure. There is a God in heaven that answers it. The Bible says, Unto him shall all flesh come, for he is the God that answered prayers. Somebody lay hold on the hands of the altar this morning. Captivities are being turned round. Somebody pray. Oh God, give me beauty for ashes. The oil of gladness instead of the spirit of mourning. No spiritual wire should be weak this morning. I say somebody pray. Reproaches are being turned around here on this global prayer altar. I say pray. Jesus is here. And there is nothing he cannot do. Every mockery. He's turning it into honor. He just told me. I say pray. Jesus, the doer of miracles is here. The Alpha and the Omega is here. And he's here to turn around captivities. Only believe. Let your belief this morning be taller than you. Go ahead. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Upon this mountain this morning. 
the Lord has done great things. The hidden will carry the tail. Your enemies will carry the testimonies. To share it. To publish it. Victory is sure. Reproaches and shame have been rolled away. Upon this global prayer altar this morning. A new dawn has come. For someone on the line. Give God the glory and give him the praise. Forever and ever. Let the owner of the glory. Inherit the glory. God be thou magnified. Thank you for this global prayer platform. Thank you for SPDD. Thank you for raising prayer giants on this global prayer altar. Thank you, our Father. For when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream dreams. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for hearing our prayers. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. For we prayed with thanksgiving. In Jesus Christ's precious name we prayed. Amen. Somebody on the line. A new chapter has just been opened. Now we hear your testimony. And I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that from today, the same God that visited the captivity of Zion shall visit you and will turn around every captivity. Zina Kalian de Gede de Legados and every ugly situation around you. Kalian de Gede de Legados, Shakata Paligados, every captivity is turned into a dream and your laughter will last for a lifetime. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decreed. Amen. Friends, you can actually continue from here. It is allowed. I came to stir the waters. And so shall it be by the decree of the waters. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I declare. Amen. Go and enjoy your freedom today and always in partnership with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. Thank you.